back here again with another video and it seems like this should be a flipping episode lads grab your pen it's happening again now from the little um interview with um the son and his rascal he said this is about stormzy he quotes so many of my lyrics but his new generation won't know that basically he's, a, he's accusing stormzy of plagiarism okay and that's a big thing to say so the interesting thing will stormzy take offense to this and then clap back like yo okay yes i use the lyrics don't beat me out that much and clap back so could there be a this battle between Stormzy and um and Dizzy Russell? Now, I quickly want to say, I don't think it'll, I, I, hundred percent there won't be a, like a, a clash or a back and forth. I think there'll just be a lot of indirect. Stormzy says something like, "Well, oh, all these old MCs are talking. Um, I'm just gonna slap them until I'm gonna slap them until they're dizzy, flipping rascals. Something like that, indirect. But you know what? Yeah, if them to actually go at it, if indirect or whatever. It will actually be a very, very iconic battle. No, now, calm down. Not in terms of lyrical ability, because obviously, if they go together with this rascal, we yam, yam Stormzy, yam Big Mike's, yam Michael, Mark, is it Michael Amari? Mark, um, yam him. If we go, yam Mike. Let's leave my out okay? But he'll yam him, okay? He'll, he'll just, he'll, he'll, take, he'll take him away. You know, when he's finished, Stormzy will not be, he won't be gone in anymore. He'll be from Sierra Leone. He'll change nationalities, just like that, okay? But it'll be iconic in the sense that the person who was carrying the torch back in the days versus the person who's carrying the torch current time. Because like it or not, Stormzy is the biggest... I don't know if he's grime, though. Grime slash rap star right now. Like it or not. Like it or not. I'm sorry, but I'm not saying he's the best lyrically. He's not the best lyrically. He's not the best this, he's the best that. But in terms of relevancy, he's the biggest right now. And back in the days, 10 plus years ago, he was Dizzy Rascal, I guess with Wiley and other people, but Dizzy Rascal was one of the biggest guys literally carrying the torch, okay? So it'll was, it was be like an iconic battle. Old old generation versus new generation, you know? And to be honest, these new generation of grime stars, 50% of them won't survive in that old generation. Old generation was like a new level. New level, okay? And that's why even in um, Dizzy Rascal's um, bars, right, his whole album, okay, no offense to Rascal, but he sounded like a like a like a um a old a stingy old man. No, those old men are like, ah, oh, back in my days it was so hard to make it. Ah, oh, you new school niggas, I don't like you. How can you be a new school nigga and making it so fast in the game? Me, I worked hard. I placed this thing. I made this foundation. I did everything here. It was me. No, those old men are like, oh, you get like even our dad. Forget old men, their dad. Ah, when I was in Africa. I used to fetch water, you know. I had no conflicts. I only had the flicks. I had no con. You shut up, hmm? When, when, when I was in my age, when I was your age, I was washing my dad's pants. What are you talking about? You know those ones that just talk about how hard they were and they're, like, they're kind of like, I wouldn't say stingy, but annoyed about the new age people. You know what I mean? To be honest, okay, in Storm of Summer Storm, these bars, he always talks about these old generation rappers talking crap. Could that be Dizzy Rascal? I don't know. But if it happens, yeah, it won't be. It will never be direct ever, ever, ever. I don't think Stormzy. I think Stormzy respects this rascal too much to actually do it direct. I think it will be like a indirect thing, indirect, 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 indirect. But I'm not. I, I say it's iconic in terms of old generation versus new generation, but it's not iconic in terms of lyrical ability. That lyrical ability in terms of dot rotten and p money. Wow, you know what I mean. I mean the next beef, the next back to back beef that happens. It's going to be so hard to match up to between P Money and Dot Rotten. It'll be so hard, so hard. Unless, like, Wiley and Dot Rotten, no, Wiley and, flip it, yeah, Wiley and P Money goes at it, or, or Wiley and, um, I don't know, flipping everybody goes at it, you know what I mean? I won't be as tough as the one it is now, but could it happen? I don't know, but. Who would win? Let me ask you this question. Let me see one brave person in the comments that'll say Stormzy. He'll, he'll say Stormzy, then he'll turn off his computer quickly. But, guys, who would win? It was a back and forth between Dizzy Rascal and Stormzy. I mean, they're both successful in their own right. In their, in their own time, they were both really, really successful. Like, we can't understate what Stormzy has done now. And we can't un un underestimate what Dizzy Rascal has done back then. And I don't know how well he did his, his album did this 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 year. But you can't. you can't. I mean, at the Mobos, Stormzy is going to win the best album of the year. Well, there's, there's no, there's actually no, it's actually, there's no doubt about it. I can actually bet money that Storms will win the Best Album of the Year award, but probably Best Smell of the Year award. Best Grime, yeah, Best Grime, he might win it as well. I mean, he might run sack this Mobile award because his album, his debut album, Gangster of Prayer, did really well. But to be honest, 
this was there, but Abbott did really well as well. So you know what it is, but who do you think will win? I only say one guy that bought Stormzy. Guys, whoever bought Stormzy there, eat him, please. Who do you think will win between this battle between Lizzie Rascal and Stormzy? Jerusalem. Yeah.